Hello again, everybody. This is Michael KE4EST. And I've had several comments and questions and people asking me um, after I published this video on this antenna analyzer um, that WAT uh, put out. And I showed the video pretty much like this and I was showing everything about it and, but um, you see there it is I didn't go back and look at the video but I didn't show the insides and I've had several people email me and uh, I think it was one or two YouTube comments but a lot of I guess people went on qrz.com and emailed me and got my email address and asked me how did you do it? What did you do? Whatever. I um, mean, it's nothing really fancy. Let's start with on the front here. Before we even open it up, this is that clear, thick, sticky paper. I forget there's a machine you can buy. People's probably laughing at me saying, "Oh, I've got one of these," or "Yeah, so and so's got one." But um, I've meant to get one several times. But where you can put this in. And it'll cut the little shapes or whatever you want on it. Um, and then take it out and you pop it out and put little logos or whatever on a coffee cup or something like that. But I've got this paper. And what I did here, like this bezel here, it's kind of hard to see with this light flickering. Or I mean with the uh, reflection. But And this here, this bezel, is this paper and or it's not really paper it's like plastic and i took and printed a little small one and this bezel is actually black ink printed that I actually made uh i took photoshop and made me a you know a box figured out the size i want you know it's a filled in box and then i made another white box inside of that box you know pretty simple it's all i did but got the dimensions the way I wanted them to print it out on that paper so that you can see the display through it. Because when you print it out with this, um, what I did was use Front Panel Designer. It's free, you can Google it, a free software you can get. And you can put it in wire mode and it just prints out this black and white. If it sees black, it prints black. If it sees white or whatever, it just print, prints nothing. So. I had this white and this black, so that's what I did there. You might even even can see, maybe, um, like around here. I didn't even cut that the greatest. I could have did better on that. That's how I printed all this on there, where it uh, tells you what it is and stuff. But anyway, um, that's that. So let's open it up and show you how I did the inside of it. Now this case I got off Amazon. Um, of course, you can use any kind of case. I've got two or three cases around because I like to do all kinds of electronic projects. And I happen to have this one, and it just seemed to fit really good with this. And like uh, myself on this one, this is the one I made for a friend of mine. I didn't elect to go with a um, battery. So this one has to be powered all the time but I've got the other one I want to make and maybe get a video about that and I finished it up I almost got it done um, there's so many other projects and family life and everything else going on sometimes can't get where I want to get done but um, I'll show it's a little bit bigger of a case and I, it's got room to put a battery in it and I'll probably use 18650s with those batteries looks like a double A on your steroids as lithium batteries but there's the SO239 connector there on the side now if you take the screws out let's open it up so now you can see on the inside what I did you can see the board here this is um, get where you can see it there's the uh, there's a TFT display. Here's the board by K2ZIA and WATE. And then, of course, here's your Arduino Pro Mini and your DDS board here. 
and I use some ribbon cable to connect from here to go back to the even though you don't need all the pins on it um, for the uh, rotary encoder on the front and then what I used here is just RG174 that little mini 50 ohm coax and I put it back around and soldered it in to the connector inside there and then I got the power jack comes in through the switch on the front to where the power is it's not that fancy now how I held it in that's what one guy asked me he's like how'd you get that to stay in there you can probably see it there let me get it where you can see maybe it's a reflection there you can see I hot glued it I took the uh, case itself here and centered everything up on the front before I put of course all this on and centered up and figured out you know where the display and everything but I made sure I had to center it up because you can see this here like the display is over here and then this the circuit board and everything's kind of shifted this way a little bit so I had to make sure I went by the display and of course there's still gonna be enough room and one other thing I've not done but I may do is right here you can see the programming port off the Arduino knocks me a little hole right here and when I do that then I can just plug in without taking it apart if I want to add a program to it if I want to update software or anything and I took this here anyway and centered up and took a Dremel tool with a little cutoff wheel and very carefully Take, put tape over it, some kind of blue painter's tape or something so you don't peel up the rest of the tear the rest of the plastic sometimes because it'll jump and cause it to, you don't want that. And then cut it out very carefully, you know, come down and around and take a little file and clean it up. And then pull your, you can pull the painter's tape off in. And then I set this in here. I made it where it's just about, where the hole was just barely smaller than what this was. I didn't want this circuit board for this TFT display here to just drop through and then so that way it got nice and snug up against it there you can see the hot glue there and I was hot glued it in on the corners and that was good sometimes I'll make stuff like hot glue and I'll make stuff like this I'll have hot glue all the way around but I mean that's firm I'm trying to move that I can't I mean that's in there so anyway that's the, how I've done it and I also mentioned on the first video that uh, when this goes public, and which it did, it finally uh, QST finally got around to getting it put out in the November issue. Um, so if for some reason you've not seen that yet, go grab your QST or grab a friend's QST, and you can pull it out and read the whole article about it. I had did some different code changes in here, and did some things, and I said, "Well, I'll just go over it then." and uh, so I am right now in the process of uh, having to rewrite some of that because it happened to me just like it happens. I back up stuff all the time and backups and I don't have a thing that just sits and does daily backups. But I'll back up pictures, I back up programs, I do a lot of coding and I'll back up and have different copies they even back up now to the cloud as they call it the uh, like a google drive and uh, i definitely make sure i do it now more often but i had spent hours and hours on uh, rewriting some of this code well not rewriting the code necessarily like, you know taking and wow this code sucks let's do it better no i mean not that that the core of the code was still there what i did was change you know the way that it looks on the display and change some of the you know the way the interface was and I also add a couple more little features to it I was like why can't you just do this so I did and it worked so now and then I uh, got that all done and uh, computer the hard drive went out flat out I've tried I still got the hard drive and ever <laughs> it went out back in the, at the end of June and 
every so often I still plug it up just to see, hey, maybe I can just get it to power up enough to come up enough just to pull some files off of it. So I guess what I'm going to have to do now is go in and redo it. I'm going to have to start with what I've got with the last save I had, which wasn't a whole lot done to it, and go through and do a few things, and I'll show you that when I get it done. See what you think about it and see if you, uh, um, so, you know, see what some things I've added to it and stuff. But it's, that's the nice thing about this open source uh, software, uh, you know, and uh, you can go in and say, okay, there's that. Now let's add to it or change it or do whatever and stuff. But anyway, there's how I did that. And I hope that uh, answers some questions I've been getting, mostly on emails. So if you look down at the YouTube comments, you won't see a whole lot on the first video, but believe me, I've been getting the emails. Um, I mean, not like thousands of them or anything, but sometimes a couple a week uh, ever since then, especially since the QST came out now. Uh, November QST came out uh, three or four weeks ago. I'm really uh, getting a lot of people asking me. I guess they've seen it, and then somehow they end up on the YouTube video or whatever. But Anyway, so there you have it. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, 73, this is Michael, KE4EST.